here's a short update for all of you who are interested in. And too important to just keep it in my thread over at the Loop Talk forum. Hi. All credits to this go to Pierre Sosa. In my previous video, I have just shown how to insert an FX plugin to multiple selected audio or instrument tracks. I have tried as well with the same method if it would be possible to turn multiple tracks into instrument tracks by dropping a generator on the track header. But this worked only for the one you drop it on. Well, Pierre figured out how it works. Instead of drag and drop, we have a second way of using the right-click menu. Track mode, instrument track and choosing the instrument. Fantastic! As I don't know if you are aware of the modifier keys for creating audio and instrument tracks, I go quickly through them. Creating an instrument track opens for all generators except the sampler channel, the GUI automatically. Holding Shift by either dragging the generator onto a track header or while clicking on the generator entry in the right-click menu stops this behavior. It's not a big deal with inserting a single generator, so I rarely used it before. But with the new multiple insert function and luckily having the modifier key still working, it makes a difference between this and this. Holding control while dragging a generator doesn't do anything at first glance. And please be careful with it. Watch what happens if I already got instrument tracks and hold first control before I start to drag a different instrument. This happens already with just clicking on the entry here. It even breaks the naming. Normally with instrument tracks you've got the same name for channel rack, playlist track and mixer track. But now the entry in the channel rack is different. I cannot imagine this was intended to be, so it's better to stay away with holding control while dragging. Other you really wanted to quickly replace instruments. But use it on your own risk, as even trying to undo it just deletes the whole instrument track, but doesn't bring back your previous state. Nevertheless, there is a useful function for the control modifier. Holding it while clicking on the menu entry opens automatically the piano roll editor for the newly created pattern and instrument. In the new beta, this behavior still works, but keep in mind that it now selects the last instrument inserted and its corresponding pattern. Holding Alt while dragging a generator or using the menu entry opens the renaming field, which I always have used to stay organized. This also renames the new created pattern. In the new beta though, it works just for the first inserted instrument and pattern. The other stay untouched. I would love to see that in this case it would do this for every inserted instance after each other. Let's see what the devs think. But anyway, at least one instrument track for which the work is already done. Please stay away from trying combinations, they are doing nonsense at the moment. Shift and Alt would be a combination I would like, but the Shift modifier seems to hide the naming field too. And as long as you don't confirm any name, you lose access to everything and have to close FL Studio via the task manager. And anything combined with Control? gives you the same replace selected instrument trouble like already shown. A lot of very useful stuff here and for sure something which makes some of you happy. Thank you for watching.